So Baltimore Ravens fans, if you have a weak stomach or if you're easily irritated, then I suggest you click off of this video right now before we get into this big update from the Baltimore Ravens that you probably don't or didn't want to know. But hey, I'm just a messenger. So uh, we, of course, know that the trade deadline, it came and went and the Baltimore Ravens did not do anything. We heard that they were interested in some people. We heard they had some conversations with some people. Uh, the biggest one, of course, we heard about was them potentially being interested in Derrick Henry. It was the expectation that the Baltimore Ravens were going to trade for a Derrick Henry. That was what was said to be. Uh, around the league and what everybody was talking about and whatnot. But it, of course, did not happen for whatever reason. It didn't happen. It didn't go down. Uh, so we saw guys like Montez Sweat get traded to Chicago. We saw guys like Chase Young uh, get traded to the 49ers. I'm like, really? The 49ers? Rich getting richer? But anyway, uh, we saw those moves take place. But we sat back and wondered and expected the Baltimore Ravens to do something, but they did not. Um, but we heard and we expected to hear, like, all right, we already, we already know we're going to get one of them stories after the fact, like, hey, Ravens were close. Ravens talked to this person, that person, and whatnot, but uh, it just didn't go through, and that's exactly what we got today. Shout out to Live Ravens Nation for bringing this to our attention because I missed this article in The Athletic from our own, very own Jeff Zrebic. It, it was in the AFC North Whip Around, uh, and this was the section that he uh, wrote about, and let's hear what Jeff Zrebic had to say. He said it. The only one that would have even made sense for Baltimore was getting Chase Young from the Washington Commanders for a third round pick. The Ravens were in on Chase Young, yet, for whatever reason, they couldn't push it over the finish line. <laughs> so the Ravens were in on Chase Young, but could not get it done. And I believe, like, let me know if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that Chase Young, now that would've been nice. That would've been nice. That would've been a rich get richer type of thing. And I love when Ravens can do rich get richer type stuff. But anyway, the, Chase Young got traded, I believe, for a conditional third round pick. Not a solid third round pick. Not a straight up third, but a conditional third round pick, I believe. Let me know if I'm wrong, though. But... Regardless, I know this uh, This hurts a lot of Ravens fans. Because they're like, oh, we could have had Chase Young too. We could have had Chase Young as well. We could have had Chase Young in addition to what we already have. Let's keep reading the article. He said, the Ravens lead the league in sacks, but the addition of an explosive edge rusher would have allowed them to be less reliant on scheme, stunts, and blitzes. I love that. Because it's true. It is so true. The Baltimore Ravens, when they rush four, it can be a struggle. But they and they do lead the league in sacks, which is great. So they they obviously doing something right. But adding a Chase Young could have made your jobs a lot easier, even easier. You're doing a phenomenal job now. The defense is great. They again the Baltimore for the Baltimore Ravens to be leading the league in sacks. What is this two thousand? Oh, is this 2006? What's going on? We're just not used to that type of stuff. We're used to them leading in blitzes, but not leading in sacks. Not even leading in pressures. So, but for the Baltimore Ravens, them leading in sacks, that shows like, hey, they are not only getting pressure, but they are producing from that pressure. And as we know, the Baltimore Ravens have also missed a good amount of sacks too. But Chase Young would have just made them that much better and made their lives that much easier. But for whatever reason, like you said, they just couldn't push it over the finish line. Couldn't get the job done. And you think about it like, man, a lot of times we hear about, especially with good players, that, oh, that team, they, they, wanna get, they just wanted to get him out of the conference. They wanted to get him out of not only the division, but the conference too. The commanders kept him in the NFC. They kept him in the NFC. Like, the Ravens are in the AFC. They play them once every four years. So, it's... <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe it's a little beef or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it goes back to the preseason game or whatnot. Maybe the battle of the beltway. I don't know what it is. But who knows the reason why it didn't go down? Or maybe, I don't know, because, again, we don't know what the compensation was that was offered by the Baltimore Ravens. It's possible, too, that the Baltimore Ravens, whatever they wanted to give up, maybe it wasn't as much as the conditional third that the 49ers get. I don't know. We, we really don't know. But whatever it was, we know what it wasn't. Because it wasn't a deal. Because <laughs> he went to the 49ers. He didn't go to the Baltimore Ravens. 
But that is just, uh, I mean, we, we knew that, um, we, we, we knew that we were going to get one of these stories. I mean, I figured we, we had already got it pretty much with the whole Derrick Henry thing where apparent, apparently the Ravens and the Titans had a deal in place for Derrick Henry. But uh, again, according to Cole Jackson, I know Spencer talked about it too. Uh, they said that the, the, the owner stepped in and shut it down. So if that's true, it's like, hey, I mean, we already got one of these stories, but to get another one, it just that 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 trade mark, that trade deadline knife that Ravens fans we 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 get sometimes, it, it, that knife was already in our stomachs, but then they, they just twisted a little bit more with this news about Chase Young, because again, well, I think what makes this worse is that like we talked about Ray, Ravens fans been talking about Chase Young before the season even started, before the season even started. So this this has been something that's been. A conversation for a long time Even since, since last year Because it was said that, tra- that Chase Young was on the trade market Even last year So it is what it is Now um, speaking of pass rush Speaking of pressure Speaking of Hashtag JC24 Because y'all know y'all know that's my guy Jadavian Clowney um, Shout out to my guy Nyan My, 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 my guy uh, Nyan He hit me up and I'm, he, he sent us a question from subscriber last week And he said that Jadavian Clowney ain't it My guy JC24 ain't it And I said oh I need an apology for this I I, I need you to issue Jadavian Clowney a public apology Right here on Team Keep It Clean Look guess what my guy Nyan did He hit us up with an email and he said The apology let's read it since we are talking about pass rush He said I ain't graven I hope you and the wife Enjoyed your anniversary Hey, I appreciate that my guy thank you Uh, He said I'll be taking a shot in your guy's honor Hey uh, make sure it's something good I don't know if you're a whiskey guy, you're a rum guy, a vodka guy, bourbon guy, tequila, well, whatever. Make make sure it's something good. But I appreciate you, man. He said, congratulations on the milestone of commitment and love. That's real right there. Thank you. He said, now about that apology. Oh, whoa. Oh, you okie doke me. I just saw the email say the apology. Oh, you oh you got me good. Okay, okay. He said, now about that apology. It ain't happening until I see some changes from JC24. He's a professional for a reason that I understand. But his play has been very underwhelming up until we grabbed him. Oh, so, okay. If you're talking about up until we grabbed him, you're talking about before this year. Mm, okay, whatever. But I'm talking about this year, like right here, right now. My God, JC24 has been doing his thing. But anyway, let's continue. He said... Um, historically known to take plays off And my biggest gripe is that yes he creates pressure But he doesn't finish the job If you recall in that indie game he had Minshew In his grasp but due to bad technique He didn't finish the job resulting in a third And long becoming a first down And this hasn't been the only time he's done this Watching game film I've noticed over the years he aims too high When tackling instead of breaking down And driving his opponent into the dirt Technique is everything It's not that I hate the guy I just wish he played consistently Well he has been playing consistently. Uh, but, I mean, you said that his technique has been bad, so he's been missing some sacks. So, I guess he, he's been consistent at missing the sacks. But, hey, this game tomorrow, he got something for you. Right here, right now, let's go ahead and announce it. Uh, Jadavian Clowney, two sacks on Geno Smith. Two. Two. So, he will be finishing tomorrow. Uh, this is a special game for Jadavian Clowney because the Baltimore Ravens played the Houston Texans this year. The Baltimore Ravens played the Cleveland Browns this year. The Baltimore Ravens played the Tennessee Titans this year. The Baltimore Ravens are also playing the Seattle Seahawks this year. What do all four of those teams have in common? Those are the teams that Jadavian Clowney used to play for. The Baltimore Ravens took care of business against the Texans, against the Browns, against the Titans, and tomorrow it's time to finish the four-game sweep against previous Jadavian Clowney teams. But he got something for you tomorrow. Just watch and see, my friend. Anyway, he said, so I'll make a deal with you on this one, boss. I'll apologize if... He steps his game up and his pressures Mack his sack rate by the end of the season But so far to me, he isn't the guy He's a guy in our front seven He's been helpful for sure But it just feels like when you need him to close And secure negative yardage He falls short Been playing better than Owe, I give him that Hold up, we ain't gotta take a shot at Owe We ain't gotta take a shot at Adafi No, we ain't gotta do that Don't do that But anyway, he said But his tape isn't impressive to me Hopefully he turns up against Seattle Because we'll need to create pressure from start to finish. And he put pressure in all caps, by the way. Uh, hopefully, you're right about him, but I don't see it. Much love and respect to you and our Team Keep It Clean family. Thank you for being the greatest NFL outsider and source of the Ravens content. Oh, that, that part is just completely wrong right there. Uh, but I, I appreciate you for sure, though, Nyan. And yeah, tomorrow, he got you. He got you. My guy, hashtag JC24, is about to go off. 